What's up world, it's your boy Drew out here again on the porch. It's a little bit warmer out here on the East Coast, so I'm able to shoot outside. I love shooting outside. Uh, it gives a nice little flavor to it. That natural light is killing it, um, but it's still a little frigid out here, so it's probably why I'm looking like a golf dad out here. How to golf Drew, you know me. The big, the big homie, the big caddy, the big caddy Drew. All right, so today we wanna talk a little bit about consumer activity on social media versus producer creator activity on social media, all right? So, all social media activity could be broken down pretty much into two categories. It's either consumption or production, consumption or production. Now, when you find yourself feeling a little drained when the game is on the line and it's time to create, be a producer, be a promoter, uh, think of that campaign to promote your music video, uh, think of that long form caption post for your Instagram, think of a really exciting and engaging snap story, etc. When you find yourself drained and, and feeling like, I don't know what to say that'll, that'll really work, what, I don't know what's gonna engage the people, I'm just feeling like my, my, my creative facility is completely shut down, Often what's happened is you've been being too much of a consumer on social media over either the last day, it could be over the last week, it could be over the last year. And you know, there your your energy, your focus, your concentration, many people would say has a limited amount within it. There's only a limited supply of energy, focus, and concentration on a given day. So how are you going to use that? How are you using that? And Often what we find with that limited supply is we're using it and, and running the, the gas on E in ways that we don't even notice. A few examples. You might, you might be watching a lot of Gary Vee for marketing motivation. You might be watching a lot of hip hop debate shows in order to stay up on the culture. Uh, you might be engaging a lot of uh, debates on social media about politics, blah, blah, blah. And at the time, it doesn't feel like you're draining your energy, focus, and concentration. It feels like you're laying in bed. It feels like uh, you're shaving and you're listening to Gary Vee before the start of the day. It feels like you're just chilling and you're not sucking away all of your willpower for the day or something that you'll need later on in order to be a producer. The fact of the matter is you are draining the amount of energy, focus, and willpower that you're using, right? So every time I'm a consumer, every time I'm a spectator, every time I'm even watching something that I think is motivating me on social media, as long as I'm consuming, I'm draining that energy, right? So this video should be a good reminder of where is my creative flow and juice uh, being spent? And even if I'm just watching something that I think is motivating me, I'm still using my limited supply of willpower or energy, right? Now, there's a lot of different theories that maybe we have unlimited willpower and you just gotta grit through. I'm not gonna get into that for this video. Just for the sake of this argument and the sort of open my, opening of the mind of this, I want you to think I have a limited amount of energy focus and willpower during the day. I could either use it consuming or producing. When I feel drained, when it's time to produce, could it be that my, my consumption is, is not where it needs to be? Now, last point I wanna make before we roll out of here on this quick video is, in order to be a good producer, you need to be a good consumer. Right? That's an idea I got from RSD Tyler, shout out the homie, he said it to me uh, straight up. I don't know if he's put in a video yet, but the idea is I don't want you to come out of this video thinking I'm saying don't watch uh, hip hop debate shows to stay on the culture. I'm not telling you to uh, stop watching uh, the, the other uh, content creators and consuming their, their, their information to see what's cutting edge. I'm not telling you to not listen to all the great new music. What I'm saying is, are you planning it out and, and understanding that there's a limited supply and are you organizing your stuff around in the best way, right? When you are uh, using your consumption time, you also wanna make sure that it's high quality and it has the goal of only helping you with being a producer, right? So you gotta be a good consumer, you gotta be a good producer, right? That, you know, but you got to make sure that each time is being used wisely.
right? So hopefully that last point makes sense. I'll probably develop it in tomorrow's video a little bit more. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna roll out here so you get a nice, uh, concise, succinct video for today. So I'll see you tomorrow at four. If you like this content, as always, be sure to sign up for our social media newsletter where immediately you're gonna get a nice, uh, uh, free training about how to create a lot of posts uh, that really engage fans and take it to the next level. But regardless, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully this was helpful. We'll develop some more of these ideas tomorrow. It's the big homie Drew. I'm out.